today's Fish Shells episode, I'm here in Milwaukee on shore fishing for maybe coho steelhead brown trout, and I'm gonna be using fly rod and spinning rod just uh, about an hour I have before work. Hopefully I can hook up, have some fun. Let's see if we can catch them. All right, fly rod, spinning rod, net, we're ready to go. Got my keys, okay, good. We got some birds diving over there. Probably for some alewives coming in early May, they're gonna be starting to load the harbors up as they do their spawning thing. And no idea what else is in here feeding on them. Why don't we start off with a cast just along this wall. Drag's pretty well set here on the PC Fun Carbon X. And there we go. Come on. How about let's get one on the first cast? That would be sweet. Nothing on the first cast. Get just a little closer to shore over here. Cast parallel to shore as soon as I unhook this trophy size fence. There we go. See if there's some fish just kind of cruising up and down the shore right here. All right, nothing on the twitch bait from Nashini. That uh, eerie jerk bait wasn't happening, so I'm going to put on this. Pretty groovy color, jigging spoon. Get this thing dancing throughout the water column and try some different depths. Just gonna tie this puppy on and we'll be in business. And there we go. This is a little three quarter ounce jigging spoon. Let's take a look at, it's pretty good. Let's see if we can entice a fish to hit this thing now. Ooh, boy, that felt like something right there. Wow. Well, let's try it again. Ooh. And we got ourselves the first alewife. There it is. There it is. I knew they were in here. Oh, is this a fish? I don't even know. What do we got here? Oh, man. Oh, that's a big old carp. Here we go. Oh, and another big old carp. Look at the scale on that. Zebra mussels. What else can I catch that I don't want to catch? So I switched over to the jigging spoon here a little while ago. Snagged onto a couple carp down there. It was pretty uh, exciting for a few seconds until I saw what it was. And seeing a couple fish just splash up and down and you could see the alewives are just kind of popping out of the water once in a while if you look long enough. So they're just all over the place. But every once in a while I'm seeing these fish that just are attacking them up on the surface. So there's definitely some coho or browns feeding on them it, that's my guess so what i'm going to do is keep this jigging spoon a little higher on the top of the surface here so just higher in the water column and not let it sink too much so i'm going to work a little faster but still get it to drop and flutter which is you know when you're going to get that hit of course hopefully these fish are going to see that looking up when they're feeding along with all these other alewives, but maybe just take a gander at the jigging spoon a little more than these alewives, because there's a lot of competition for these lures at the moment with all the alewives around in the spring and early May in these harbors all along Lake Michigan shoreline. Oh, here we go. That is a nice fish on the jigging spoon. It's just a big brown. Wow. That caught me off guard. <laughs> wow. Here I've been snagging alewives all morning, trying to get my one fish before work with about 10 minutes left. And I think we got a big male brown from the looks of it. Let's see. Look at, oh, it's a big pike. It's a big northern. Holy, on the jigging spoon. 
Look at the size of that pike. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at the belly on that thing. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Wow. I don't know. He doesn't have it in his mouth, but he could have had it in the teeth for a while. And then it maybe set the hook and got him on the outside. So it could be frayed up and got to be careful here. What a belly on that thing. Look at that. Wow. Oh, just missed him. How did I miss that? All right, let's get him in the net. Oh, he, he's about to get off here. Just barely hooked. Come on. All right, I think we got him here. Oh, look at the thickness of that fish. Wow. Look at this surprise pike in the morning. Just check out the belly on that thing. Just a huge pike for a little jigging spoon in Lake Michigan right in the Kinley Marina. We're gonna let this guy go, but uh, 45 minutes of fishing before work. It's a fun little surprise catch. Wow, I can't even get my hand close to around his back. All right, he's going back in, but jeez, look at the size of him. Wow.